So, I uh, gotta stop being choked up over that and get back to the game. I am a sucker for people sacrificing themselves. So, Ark did a ceremony in Antarctica which awoke his light side counterpart, that is the surface world. Oh, El's gonna wait for us. That light side merged with us and we were reborn as both light and dark Ark together as one. The true hero. We were reborn here in Stockholm, conveniently located in Oslo, where El look after us. But Dark Gaia, the elder from our homeworld in Krista, sent internal El to go and kill us. But El refused those orders, and for that she died. Ark is now back in action. He has the hero's arms, discovered by Columbus. And we need to go and kick some ass. So it seems we're uh, forming a party to go and stop Baruga over in Siberia, the home of all evil. I mean, Fida can understand why there, why she's there. Good swordswoman. Royd is a mercenary, but Peril, the skateboard wizard, is part of this. I've constructed better uh, parties in Majesty too. Alright, onwards to Siberia. Sadly, I still can't talk to birds. Now, Ark is a very angry man. He just saw everyone he's ever loved was conspiring against him. Let's grab the greatest weapon in the game. Well, okay, that's arguable, but this is the best armor in the game. Even better than our folded 1,000 times Nippon armor. Let's go and kill everything. Ark is now very angry and with good reason. to really wish I had kept one of those get you out of a dungeon for free spells. Me getting lost at this stage would completely break the flow, but it looks like that's what's happening. So yes, Ark has ascended and become a god, really. I think he was already pretty godly, but now he's become, instead of a demigod, a full-on god? I, I don't know. At least that's the plot as best that I can piece it together. It's, uh, it doesn't like to say things outright, these quin quintet games. The real bombshell there was that the Elder that uh, looked after all of Krista, and in fact sent us here, is Dark Gaia, aka the Devil. Good to know. We need to go and slaughter him, and all of his minions. But El made a promise that she would wait for us forever here in Stockholm. Yes, Stockholm, not Stockholm. Gee, I'm getting all kinds of sidetracked here.
<laughs> We're basically pulling a Shin Megami Tensai neutral ending and going to punch both God and the Devil and thus save the world. I think the important thing here is that we've become the God. The biggest asshole in this whole game is Light God. I don't think there's really any implication that the dark side is more evil than the light side. They're just conflicting sides. And they must... they're in conflict to keep the world in harmony? Something like that? Don't know. You'd have to sit down and think about it for quite a while. Probably still get nowhere. Alright, we're out of this hellhole. of SMT, who's ready for Persona 5? Well, ever since I got that PS4, I've been waiting for a game to come out for it. I'm looking forward to Persona 5 being that game. Okay, we're out of Storkholm in Oslo. Onwards to Siberia. We can't actually walk there, we'll have to take a boat. The game isn't uh, Final Fantasy IX levels of cruelty, though. Even at this late stage, you can uh, bring all the towns up to full development. But who's got time for that? Why did Elder equal Devil need Ark to resurrect the world if the world was already a barren waste? No, I don't think the Devil wants it to be a barren wasteland. The Devil's idea is that he wants it to be filled with only the necessary people. So the Devil sees no problem in having a, uh, a world with no pain. Everybody would be immortal. It's just that due to lack of resources, there could only be so many mortal people. So, you slaughter off, I think the idea was to slaughter off 90% of the population. The remaining 10% would be the necessaries, they would get the immortality vaccine, and they alone would live happily ever after. Because the devil's idea is that uh, the ultimate pain in life is death and rebirth. So if you just cut that out, you could have permanently happy world where nobody dies, but no new people are born. Hence why you would only have uh, the necessaries. But Ark and his light world friends don't agree with that one bit. So in a sense, maybe we're the evil ones. Doesn't matter, we will trail our arses across Siberia and put Baruga to the sword. Hey buddies, leave it to peril. You've got Baruga's number. Alright, let's do this. Will immortality equal infertility? I believe so. I mean... One of the immortal people was just a zombie in attack. I can't imagine his junk is fully in order. So, I guess everyone becomes barren. If you ever try to ditch me, you'll regret it, lordy. is enough for all this.
crane was operated by a roid, I should have guessed from the rough handling. <laughs> oh. It's funny, you never did get to fight a roid. He forsaged? Is that a word? I'll roll with it. Go for it, Thriller. Lemon does the animals. Lemon, you know, one of the best Terranigma players in the world. He does it at level 28, so you'll be fine at 30, thanks for the vote of confidence. Do I really have to kill Baruga? I'd rather just dance to your tunes. Freak out. Kinda of wishing I did a bit more damage than that this late stage in the game. Nah, I'll have to settle for it. Unless I'm anywhere close to a level up. We haven't really explored the center door in our options, but one of the things is a strength mirror, which shows how close we are to a next level. Acceptable. I'm sure we'll hit 31 soon. Jake, are you even remotely interested in games like The Witcher 3? Not even slightly. Swordswoman to good use, having her press a button. Well done, Fida. You will never be used in this game ever again. Feels like just an hour ago I was saving you in uh, China. Oh, this might be a good leveling place. If you can. There was an easier way to get those two in one hit. But what do I know? No time for grinding. If we have to do Dark Gaia at level 30 or 31, then so be it. I've fought him a hundred times before. I know exactly how to deal with him. Unfortunately, this game you don't have to wait for enemies to explode or whatever, you get the experience the moment you lay enough damage on them to kill them. Reassuring to know that these monsters aren't hurting me for much. Hopefully, it's the same story when I face off against Baruga and Dark Gaia. And the last of Roid. It's a shame, I really like your theme tune. jerk. One of these levels, there's a glitch in the game where it actually reduces one of your stats instead of increasing it. Okay, that's dangerous having my defense down. 
Let's just hope that goes away. This is Baruga's problem. He should have been investing in life potion instead of his strange zombie immunity. So we are pretty much hunting down and trying to exterminate Baruga as he flees. That really does make us sound like the bad guys. Stole these Gundams from underneath Neo Tokyo as well. He's a resourceful guy, that Baruga. Okay, so there are seven computers on this ship, and we need to destroy all seven of them, so now we have become terrorists. I mean, really, what have we done so far? We have chased down and tried to kill a scientist. Maybe I am the bad guy here. Oh, can't overthink it. One down, six to go. Let's not lose Kent. Uh... Oh, no, are those turrets destructible? Funny, they designed a nice airship here, but it's used for a very short amount of time, and you don't even get to look around much of it. Yeah, six to go. Let's do this uh, clockwise. Seems logical. God, where am I now? Fortunately, there is no uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style timer going on here. As long as I want. Two for the price of one. Thank you, please. Here. If you're going to do something, do it right. Oh, two more. Easy money. What's up, fighter? Alright, one more to go. I wonder if they planned on making this place bigger, because compared to some of the other dungeons in the game, it's pretty slow. But I thought common practice in a game like this was to make your first level last... Uh, what do I know? What in the world do I even know? 
Did Jake finish Majesty 2? No, there is still two levels to go. I needed a full two hours to deal with that horrible uh, pretender to the throne level. But I got it done, and it was clinical. Baruga's days are numbered, his ship is gonna go down. We have a swordswoman, a mercenary, and a fighter cornering him. What could go wrong? Are the last two missions easier? That depends. I wonder if the bug I used to complete the game before still works. mocking us from the rear. Yes, I'm sure they'll survive. Well, go, let's get out of here. Right now. Bye forever, fight android. I thought, we're in Australia. Could he have seen that? Ark doesn't have it in him to say that his friends just died there. Well, maybe friends is a bit of a stretch, but whatever. And the clue there is go and check out South America, because something is up. No, he could not have seen that. Oh, Hydronum, I'm sure he could if there wasn't all that light pollution and stuff. 
After all, the world is flat. And again, even at this late stage in the game, you're still open if you want to develop all the uh, towns and that. There's nothing to gain but personal satisfaction and maybe a few bits of magic rock. But the portal that we came through, the portal that took us from the uh, inner world to this outer world, it was opened up thanks to that crashing airship, so thank you, Fido and Royd. You did something useful. Hey, I remember this guy. Stoic advice from a pretty cool dude who's being tortured by a little girl. But that's alright. We are out of here. It took about 10 hours, but our work on the surface is done. About 10 hours arc. And so we're back where we started this game. And there is no return to the surface. Remember, this is Ark's home. The inside of the Earth with the lava, the crystals, and the one heavily inbred village. We're back home. Nice. But something's a little different. See, no one is moving. Our pumpkin fellow doesn't talk to us anymore. The kids are not jumping around. Even the chickens are standing still. I wonder if Elle is around. Of course not. She died. How's Elle's mom doing? Oh, that's nice. If you never found out, you could have been happy. Oh dear. Money is uh, meaningless now, it can't actually do us anything, but yes, this place that we lived all our life was a sham created by Dark Gaia. Let's go and kill that guy. But first, mm, delicious. Old habits die hard, you see. This is even our bedroom. Nothing has changed. You.
Alright, so he, first he tries to spook us to death, and now Gaia is going to try and kill us to death. Bring it on. We got this. Now the secret is hit his orb of light to attack him and then pray that the RNG is nice to you and that his ample torso comes close to you. Should have been able to one-cycle that, but ouch, ouch! I am Earth's internal face. Yeah, and you're about to get Glasgow kissed in that face. That was very lucky. So, uh, often, his body just avoids the center, and you have to get lucky. But of course, that wasn't even my final form now, was it? He's coming back with more. With some frankly incredible end boss music. Kind of reminds me of Flammy here, actually, from uh, Secret of Mana. Now, he is pretty difficult if you don't know what to do, and even if you do know what to do, it can be quite unpleasant when he starts doing that. But you want to stay at the bottom, block his uh, screen-wide unavoidable death attack. I'm not even sure you can avoid that using uh, perfect... Um, oh, jeez. It's hurting me. Even using perfect dash attack, I'm not sure if you can avoid his uh, area-wide kill-all attack. But you want to wait at the bottom until he comes close to you, and then get up, and you just want to regular attack him. Other attacks are not nearly as good, and I am not taking risks on this guy. So we're chewing down those bulbs. Heck, we are going to equip it, so we can chew it down on... Uh, without going to the pause menu. Cheap son of a gun. If you don't block this attack, it does precisely half of your current hit points. So if you are down to one hit point, you actually want to uh, not block it or else it will kill you. Dark Gaia is possible to kill with one hit point. but you'd better be very good at dash attacks. Come on, I'll show you who's necessary and unnecessary. Baruga to make that costume. Come on! <laughs> Cheap son of a gun. He can just stand there and spam this attack all he wants. Which is horrible, but there is little you can do to oppose it. If you don't stand in the center, the area effect would hurt you less. Yeah, I'm fully aware, but a couple more hit points of damage isn't going to spell the end for me here. Famous last words, I know. Come on.
chow down arc. He's getting a bit sick of all those bulbs. He must be close. He better be close. Not sure which Dark Gaia I prefer visually, this one or Illusion of Gaia's? Ah, this one. Illusion of Gaia had some incredible bosses, though. The Illusion of Gaia bosses far, far beat uh, Terranigma's ones. But give me that Terranigma plot any day of the week. Sacrificing L pulled my heartstrings a lot more than sacrificing... Uh, well, let's not spoil that, but you know what I'm talking about. Those cannibals needed to eat, hombre. Please enjoy the ending too. Terranigma, one of my all-time favorite games.
It's not done yet. So, Dark Gaia was a bit nasty. So he made your entire village and you just to serve him. He wanted to kill most of everything. But Light Gaia is the biggest asshole in this game. He has Ark do all this for him. And Ark's one reward is one last day in what I think is just a mirage. Before just being made to disappear. That's just nasty. What could it mean? I've got no menu that I can uh, jump into anymore, no items. Not sure what would be worse, being stuck in an empty village or a village full of these... I don't even know. Are they real or not? It's like the cruelest of mercy. Yet, yeah, to be honest, I don't know what magic rock is either. Very sad. <laughs> the blue door has always just been a broom closet. Sure enough, it's not opening for us. doesn't even have the energy in him to break things and steal food. Good night, world.